Hey guys, my name is Greg Wong and we are here at the PTS booth. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you some of the new products that we have for 2016. So the first thing that we have here is the Mega Arms SBR or short barreled rifle. This is basically a CQB version of the current MKM that we currently have available. As you can see, it's a shortened platform. Uh, all of our new rifles will be coming with the enhanced polymer stock and our enhanced polymer grip. Uh, it'll also come with a gas version of our enhanced polymer magazine, as you can see here. Uh, the rifles should shoot about 350 to 380 FPS, making them a, ideal for CQB, for Airsoft and uh, Milson, also for training as well. This is the new rifle that we have this year. It's the Mega Arms MM, which stands for M-Lock. Uh, what we have here is a 308 style platform for the Airsoft and Milson crowd. As you can see, this thing has a very, very beefy bolt. Uh, the rail system, as I said before, is M-Lock. Everything is two spec as well. And this thing really also has a uh, kind of a surprise of its sleeve. It is also a three round burst. So for people looking for a gas blowback platform that really fits the DMR role, this is definitely it. This will also be coming with the enhanced polymer furniture, the magazine, the stock, as well as the grip. And this thing is a lot of fun. And hopefully this thing should be shooting about 400 FPS, giving you about the right edge for about most DMR rolls, maybe up a little bit higher. Uh, but this thing is definitely awesome. Should be coming out later this year. So this year, new with PTS, we picked up the Kinetic Development Group license. Now the SCAR platform has kind of been one of those airsoft rifles that's remained kind of static because there's not a whole lot of new platforms or rail accessories that come out for the SCAR. Kinetic Development Group came out with their MREX rail a little over a year ago, and in a way, it's kind of rein, uh, reinvigorated the SCAR platform. So we have this uh, just to show you, give, kind of give you an idea of what the Mark 17 or SCAR heavy platform will look like with a uh, Kinect Developer Group rail. We're hopefully developing this for the VFC and Tokyo Marui types of SCARs. Uh, one's Neji, the other one's a recoil shock system. Uh, and I think a lot of people are going to like this, especially the people who are into Milson. Uh, but it's a beautiful rail system. It literally adds only ounces to the existing um, uh, platform itself because it removes the uh, uh, existing um, uh, rail uh, segments that are on the SCAR. Uh, as you can see, it's M-Block. Um, it's very simple to attach uh, accessories to it. And it's a very, very sleek design. It overall changes the silhouette of the SCAR. So recently released this past year is an extension of our enhanced polymer line. We have the enhanced polymer grip or rifle grip. Uh, it comes in gas and AEG forms. Um, also, first time showing this year is actually the flat dark earth version. Uh, what's also great that we, is that we have a compact version that doesn't have the beaver tail in case that's not quite your thing and you want a little bit more of a compact grip. We also have uh, two different styles of vertical grips. We have the standard length vertical grip which also doubles as a battery grip. So let's say you have a front wired AEG or airsoft gun and you really don't want to run like a pec box or any kind of battery box on the gun. This is actually really really handy because it basically gives you two different types of function in one form. For those who kind of want a little bit more of a stubby or kind of a standard uh, you know, compact grip, we have the stubby grip here available. And what's great is that all our um, enhanced polymer furniture has the same texture, the grid texture. It gives you a really good bite, really good grip uh, when your hand gets, uh, hands get sweaty or even when you're wearing gloves. It gives you a really good purchase on the grip, uh, allowing you to uh, manipulate your weapon system just fine. So this is one of our staple products. It's the Enhanced Polymer Magazine. This was designed with a lot of input from the real steel shooting community. Uh, it's actually one of the most popular mags on the market. Made out of DuPont Zytel, which is PTS is known for, it has quite a few features that make it stand out from the crowd. Um, it has an orange follower. This is actually really awesome because it, by easily looking into the magazine, you can identify when the magazine is empty. When the magazine is fully loaded, this little window here allows for the follower to be visible, letting you know that you're completely topped off and kind of eliminating that second guessing that happens when you have a bunch of magazines and you're trying to figure out which one's loaded, which one's topped off, which ones are partials. Um, the magazine itself was designed to work with 416s. So this wing up here and this little cut up here allows it to fit in a 416 platform. That's kind of one of the banes of certain polymer mags that are currently out right now. But this is pretty much compatible with pretty much all the AR style airsoft guns on the market. Now the base plate is also one of the unique identifying features uh, because of its unique silhouette. It also doubles as a uh, platform for uh, BRM. It allows you to get a, a position on the ground 
have a stable platform. Uh, it also has a marking matrix so you can kind of identify which mag is which, and the way it's shaped, it allows you to get a good purchase on the magazine, and it has a little bit of a lip so you can catch it with your pinky or with your index finger when you're pulling it out of a magazine pouch. It also holds 150 BB, so it really gets you into the fight, and it's actually a very, very good uh, magazine for milsim and for training. So the Masada platform is a staple rifle platform for the PTS line. We've had this regular AEG, we just recently released the gas blowback, but now we have the pre-production prototype of the ERG. If you're not familiar with the ERG, it's the electric recoil gun. It's something that PTS is really known for, is having an AEG that has a little bit something extra, a little bit something special. What's cool about the ERG is the recoil system gives it a very realistic kick. Definitely on the level of gas blowbacks, which makes it uh, a good um, complement for operating year-round, especially in, place, uh, in places where gas blowbacks can't operate because it's too cold. Uh, the battery is actually located in the stock, and this is actually compatible with our Masada rail system. The Masada rail system itself will work both for our gas blowback and our ERG platform. The Masada will also come with an EPM designed for the ERG and it will have the, six, uh, the 60 and 30 round feature. So if you want to go with a more realistic uh, loadout, you can switch to 30 or if you want to go with the 60, you can use it as well. The Masada is also compatible with standard AEG magazines, especially the standard EPM, allowing you to have a lot of flexibility with the gun itself. So new this year and an extremely uh, limited edition is the Bronze Atom Slide. Now this is made um, based on the UD Tactical Atom Slide. We have three different versions, anodized black, uh, we have the bronze and limited edition, and we also have the Cerakoted Dark Earth. What's really good about this slide is it comes as a complete kit. So not only do you get the side uh, slide, you also get an outer barrel, you have an inner barrel, uh, you have a bunch of other components that come with it as well, more or less upgrading the entire whole platform of the gun. Uh, as you can see, the Atom slide has a cut right here, and this is primarily for an RMR, but you can mount other optics as well. It has raised sights and has a beautiful, uh, beautiful finish. Uh, personally, this thing is actually especially suited for the RMR. Uh, people are really digging it, and this thing's going to be very popular this year. So these are PTS's new enhanced sights. Um, as you can see, they have a great amount of adjustability. They're very simple to flip up. Uh, we're going with a polymer base, so that way it kind of reduces the weight on the rifle, but they're very easy to uh, actuate and flip up on the, onto the rifle itself. And we also have different sight apertures for um, long and close range. As you can see, we have different type of texturing on each side, kind of keeping with the design language of the enhanced polymer series. Uh, but this is definitely going to be a really awesome option for people looking for a backup sight that's plain, that's simple, uh, straight to the point, uh, but then definitely gives them the uh, functionality that they need to back up for their optics. So this year, uh, recently released, we have the Fortis Shift Grips, both the full length grip and the angle grip. Uh, currently available in two different colors, flat dark earth and black, and also available in two different attachment systems, Picatinny uh, and Keymod. Now these are extremely uh, lightweight. As you can see, it's basically a skeletonized grip. Very, very popular. Uh, they go very well with the Fortis rails themselves. It kind of keeps it with the design language. Uh, but this is definitely a really, really uh, popular grip. Very low profile and very lightweight. Definitely something that's gonna give your rifle a unique look, uh, but also very functional as well. One of the things that we really like is that this shelf here uh, really catches your hand and allows you to do a couple different grips with a thumb break or whether you're really grabbing the bore. It'll catch your hand and make sure that you're not slipping on the, the gun and basically keeping you back in the game and keeping you in the fight for a certain period of time. Overall, really cool grip and this is something that we have for 2016. So new on this gun is the Mega Arms Wedge Lock Rail. It's a very sleek and tubular rail system. Uh, it uses M-Lock on three of its um, um, sides, as you can see. And the Wedge Lock Rail, it's, it's absolutely elegant. It uses two screws and a simple barrel nut to attach to the rifle itself. Uh, this is actually a really great option because for a while, We've just had the Mega Arms MKM, but this is actually uh, an amazing option for people looking for an alternate rail system that's sleek, uh, simple, and it's really gonna add a lot to their platform. So new this year is the Sistema Enhanced Gearbox. Now this is really cool because it's beautifully CNC machined. Very precise, very elegant, and has a lot of functionality to it. Also, it comes with the enhanced trigger here so that you can drop it into your Sistema and have a nice upgrade from the get-go. Uh, for people using Sistemas, this is actually a really nice option. If they're looking for something to uh, 
it would definitely uh, enhance the platform itself. Sistema's been around for a long time, uh, but it's actually great that we're getting back into Sistema products. So, my name is Greg Wong. Thank you guys for stopping by the PTS booth this year for 2016. And I want to give a big shout out and a special thanks to the Millspec Monkey. But we'll see you guys next time and next year.